today, Rad Dad opens G.I. Joe Classified Series Zartan. Uh, my buddy Timmy over at uh, Wonderland Toys, uh, excuse me, Wonderland Comics, he's got toys and comics, uh, over in, on Van Ness in Fresno gave this to me. Uh, just gave it to me. So, pretty cool. Uh, should go check him out. Uh, let's see, uh, Zartan, let's see, uh, well, let's see, he's got a, a backpack, uh, he's got the mask, he's got a, a pistol of some kind, a knife, a couple other weapons, some cool graphics on the front, looks very much like the original Zartan, and, uh, who actually first appeared in, uh, 1984, in the comic, uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, the Commander Escapes. It was, it was uh, issue issue number twenty four, June of eighty four. And then later he appeared in uh, in the Cobra's Pit. It was episode number six of the cartoon series. Didn't have a big role in that. It was mostly Destro, I believe. They were like uh, Snake Eyes and I can't remember who else but they were on, on I think on Cobra Island and and Destro was in that. Anyway, it's pretty cool. So let's uh, slice it open. Let's see what we have in here. Yeah, Zartan was kind of a crazy guy. He was a, a Dreadnought. He was the leader of the Dreadnoughts. And uh, he had a sister. Twin, they were twins. Uh, twin brother uh, Xandar and uh, sister Zorana. Those two were twins. Not they weren't twins. They were younger than uh, Zartan. Hey, that's pretty cool. Okay. And uh, yeah, Zartan was the master of disguise. So he had a lot of things. And, and in a few minutes, I'll, I'll, I have the, uh, the original file card from 1984. It's got a couple things on there I'll read to you. Let's get out. This looks like little hands. Interesting. Look at that. It's like a little hand. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they're trophies. Oh, this is a snake. Yeah, get that in here. A snake. Ah, you can see that. Sorry for the lousy camera work. I haven't done this in a little while. I've been busy with other stuff. So this is my first one in a, in a month. Oh, and here's his backpack. Let's see if it opens up. Hmm. Ah, there it goes. Oh, it comes into two pieces. I thought it was had a hinge to it. It looks like a little, like a computer thing here. And you can put his, his, uh, mask in there, the face mask, the disguise mask. Okay, I'm not going to put that together because I want to try this on him first. Let's see, I want to see how this mask fits on here. Take his hood off. Eh, not too bad. I mean, it's kind of like the original three and three quarter inch figure. It just sort of sits there. I think if you move it too much, it would come off. It's not too bad. It's not coming off. Okay. So I'll take that off, though. I want to see that mean guy there. And uh, he has a scarf that comes off. So I'll leave that there. i put this back on. And I guess, okay, I'll put the uh, the mask in the backpack now and see how that all fits. Here's the other half. <laughs> there it goes. Snap! All right, now let's see what we've got here. He's got a pistol. Uh, got like a little hook thing on here, so I don't know if that's supposed to hang on to something, but I don't really see any. Maybe it can hang on like that. Okay, there you go. And maybe his, okay, his knife does the same thing. Let me put that there. So if you didn't want him to have him in his hand, he can carry him on his backpack. Cool. All right, now let's see what these little things do. Is there... Oh, yeah, here's a spot here it can hang. Oops, let's try this one first. Let's try the little snake head on here. 
Eh. See if he gets on there. It doesn't want to stay in there. Yeah, my camera is sort of in my way anyway. Okay, how long do I want to... Oh, maybe I was... No, there's a hole here. Let's try that one. Maybe you have to take this off of here. Oh, there's a sheath for the... I didn't see that. There's a sheath for the knife. Let's put that in here. Ah, yeah, a little trial and error. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Okay, let's try the backpack. I think I have to align this hole here in his his vest to see if this fits on here. And there it goes. Let's hope it stays. And I, those hand things, these, these little things kind of driving me crazy. I'm trying to figure out if they are supposed to go in here. I think they are. I don't know why, but it kind of looks like it's supposed to go in there. But when I push it in there, that little tab wants to bend. Hmm. Ah. Either bad design or the operator operator error here. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. Let's see if I can get the snake on here, the snake head. I guess these are like little trophies or something. I, I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to be. Maybe somebody out there knows and they can they can chime in. Let's see if I can get this. <laughs> okay, well I don't want to break it, so I'm letting that one go for right now. But I'm gonna grab his pistol here and put it in his hand. Okay. Ah, there goes his his headpiece. Sorry, there we go. That looks pretty cool. Ah, looks pretty cool. I like him. I think he'll stand. My camera angle's not too good for that, but anyway. Okay, before we go too far here, here's the uh the original file card. You can see it was cut out of the box because the original guy came with uh, his skiff. Uh, you'll see here on the bottom it says a psychological profile, extreme paranoid schizophrenic, grows into various multiple personalities to such an extent that the original personality becomes buried and forgotten. You will not find that on subsequent file cards because uh, that's kind of a bad thing to s label somebody. Paranoid, schizophrenic, uh, bad guy. And uh, Hasbro uh, got a little flack for it and they pulled it out. Rightly so, I think. But anyway, it uh, says he, uh, uh, he has aliases. Too many to list. Uh, but... I understand, uh, let's see, I think one of the other file cards did have a few aliases, but uh, anyway, it didn't have it in here. But he's a master of disguise, he can alter his skin color with the uh, environment, uh, he's got all kinds of training in, in uh, military uh, training and in European weapons and so forth, and so anyway, pretty cool, pretty cool, I hope you enjoyed this little couple minutes here checking out Zartan. I've got some more figures I'm going to open up, so please tune back in. Thank you very much.